Well, that's a bit loud in my ears. That's a little better. All right. So, 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 um, what in the world are we doing now? Well, that's a great question. Uh, I don't need any of these. And I think everything here is to go. Oh, okay. okay. Whoops. And here we've got things that we need to get rid of. Um, so what in the world could there possibly be to do after we've moved all the way to the en end of the game here? Um, well, uh, as you guys know from the vein life that we have, um, the idea is that what got me into vein in the first place was the builds. Well, was just the fact that it was like an anime uh, game. And then the builds uh, came very, very, very shortly after that. Now, everybody, uh, everybody wanted me to try Neo 2. And the little history there on the background is that it was an absolute, absolute nightmare for 50 hours that we played. And it was horrible. It was horrible. Uh, then about a year later or whatever, I got a controller. And I started playing again. And the controller made literally that much of a difference. And I believe we're sitting right now around 600 hours or so. Um, and so it's been absolutely mind-blowing how uh, different uh, this has made it. And now, hey Emerald, yes, Midweek Madness. Hey man, it's Christmas break, so we got to do all the streams whenever, man. And I'd rather do more streams with you guys than uh, actual uploads. Um, but the uploads will, will be coming back and everything. But uh, now that I've gotten to the end and the question is, well, what do I do from here if I want to keep playing the game? The answer to that is, well, obviously you do um, either co-op like this um, or you go about making a build and then the game and yourself becomes the game. Oh, okay. For instance, this guy here. And you watch my watch my health uh, today. That is going to be the uh, the item that you should be watching. As you can see, I literally lost no health. <laughs> And I have crazy fast speed. So now now the objective is the, of the game is to try and get rid of the feathers as much as possible. And play the game uh, more the way that it was intended uh, to do. And I love Slim. If I could uh, co-op with him all the time, I would. He is incredible. And so now... What we are doing is we are running the split staff, which is ridiculous, with this build, and then the uh, Matsu Spear. So we've got uh, Omayatsi here for life like crazy, and you'll notice that we have pretty much 10,000 HP. And we are... Oh. And you'll notice that we are going to be able to uh, just absolutely run over everything. And it's going to be so much fun that I can actually, um, you know, kill, kill pretty much anything and everything in my path. And I have no, um, no inhibitions anymore. Like, 
I, I have all the confidence to actually just get into a fight and uh, see this guy. Normally I would like run in terror from this guy. Oh, there's a guy there. And triple threat is the entire existence of what the spear can do. And this is just absolutely uh, incredible. And it is unbelievable what this thing can do. So like, I can come over here and just say, Let me just attack this guy. And he's dead. Okay, so who's getting attacked over here? Oh, Suki. Remember I used to run from her completely all the time? And remember that we used to die literally any time we met anything? Where is she? Whoa. Did she die? What was that? There's, there's literally zero... What? Okay. See, and I was not the one that died. I don't know why the host died there, but whatever. Um, and we got a scroll for our efforts. And we got a Suki. Yeah, so let's see what scroll we got. What was that? Gold earned up garbage um so let's uh let's go over this here a little bit so we have a six piece of omayatsi and we got the seven piece uh, master spears uh this is absolutely ridiculous uh how um how this goes about uh operating so you'll see here we have the whole thing is to build on damage taken uh damage taken halved um, and always be at full health by uh, having lots and 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 lots of health. And then, uh, furthermore, to use the spear to do triple threat damage, which is a poking thrusting attack, which is an active skill, which we need more attack and defense on spear. And sure, a little bit of extra melee damage. So this is absolutely bonkers uh, how this works. So it's still the same exact stat set as, um, as our uh, jutsu build that we did. I haven't changed one of these stats. Uh, these are all the same. Um, and we just changed out the pieces of gear. Uh, so right now, we are sitting at... Um, where is our damage taken? At minus 20%. So just straight up off the bat, we have 10,000 HP, and we're taking 20% less damage, which means if we were taking 5,000 before, now we're taking 4,000 just straight up. And then we have the, um, the halved damage taken on wherever that is um so if he was 
uh, damage taken, I don't know, halved, unscathed. So if we're at full health, if he was doing 5,000, now we will take half of that uh, down to 2,500, and then we'll take 20% less than that. Uh, so another 500 off. So we'll only take 2,000 damage, and we have 10,000 HP. So it's almost... It's very, 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 very hard to kill us now, um, which that, which before, you know, it was not the case. And so damage taken versus Yokai, we have another minus 9% there. Um, so, you know, another 180 off of that uh, 2,000. So we're down into the almost 1,500 range. And then to uh, 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 take Anima during being attacked so damage taken anima bonus anytime we get hit uh we get anima for free uh, which is great because then we have um life drain on yokai ability hit here at a minus so then we then we can use a, a yokai ability and get health back to get us back to full health and then our life recovery amrita absorption i had this at 194 but i think it's going to be better at 179 because of the uh guardian spirit things and then our running speed and dash speed we have popped up here uh quite high so we are able to get away from the enemy if we need to at any moment in time so this entire build set here is meant uh around the entire idea of getting in doing a lot of damage while you can um, and our spear is pumped up by 50, plus 51 so it's uh, making it even better and then our split staff as well going up and then creating um, you know just an entirely ridiculous over the top amount of uh, of Amrita that's floating around in the air that we can uh, actually go and do um, uh, all kinds of health recovery from so that way we can get back to full health so we can take more hits so we can uh, constantly just repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat that entire cycle now the problem comes when the enemies are very very fast and we can't actually get in to constantly attack them uh, over and over and over um, and uh, that that becomes a problem but uh, for, for what this is, uh, the fun thing is is that if we uh, use our jutsu and stuff, we can actually, uh, you know, uh, get the ability to uh, get a saturated um, effect on an enemy. And uh, then what that means is that we are able to uh, do 20% more damage to an enemy. Ouch. Who died? The ground is shaking. Could it be connected to the crystal? Hmm, somebody died. Okay, and then we can slow him down. Okay. And now he's going to take 20% more damage. <laughs> Absolutely ruined him without a care in the world. So this is so much fun now because I can actually survive uh, pretty much whatever I want. Oops. Uh, is she coming down? Okay. Where is she? And, and this is with no buffs running. Oh. Okay. Push her, push her off the edge. Oh. Now he pushed me off the edge. <laughs> that is the one thing that can kill me immediately. Is if he pushes me off the edge. But man, this is so incredible. That we are able to... Uh, just absolutely go toe to toe with literally anything and everything with no cares and no inhibitions of any kind because uh we're we're kind of invincible because our health recovery is so fast um and if 
if by chance sometime in the future i get a super super duper super duper super 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 duper super 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 duper lucky drop um then uh i will be able to get on here uh life drain active skill uh which is the star stat the purple one like this uh active skill uh for the split staff and then it's going to be ridiculous okay so if i actually use um you know uh my buffs here then uh this also gets a little bit more crazy um let's go help the uh host here oh oh so he's on easy mode and look how fast we run. Even without the 90%, uh, we are still f pretty fast overall. And as you'll notice, we have 5,000 HP almost, which is a, a little ridiculous um, for this level of damage that we are getting added to us here and it's cool that we can switch between weapons and kind of do whatever we need to do to uh, you know get as much damage as possible um, whenever we are going to wh wherever we are going okay I, I guess we're not going to need any uh, items here. But this is going to be um, super simple on this level of difficulty here. Just because of how, um, you know, how low level uh, this is and everything. But that's fine. Um, but the cool thing is, is that uh, I can survive literally anything and everything now. Um, for the most part, uh, there, it, there are still obviously the bosses in the depths that are a little bit crazy to, uh, engage with, but, um, it's nothing too crazy. Hello, Scamper. And, uh, being able to use the spear is, uh, also very 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 nice uh, for me uh, because of the fact that uh, typically um, you know I wasn't uh, using uh, the spear too much see and this guy <laughs> gone are the days of getting shot in the face Um, by stupid random shooters. And now I can freely, freely, freely engage anything uh, without worrying too much about getting shot in the face anymore. Uh, which that was like one of the most annoying things to me was uh, to be able to run around and not be able to... Uh, you know, always getting shot, always getting killed, always, you know, having these problems. Um, and so now we are able to uh, constantly, constantly, constantly um, be surviving anything and everything we want to, which is great. And the cool thing is, is that... Um, We are able to uh, get uh, damage values upward. Where am I? Damage values upwards of like twenty thousand on the um, uh, on the uh, enemies if I do a back attack on them. Is that one locked? Oh, okay. Whoops. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to fall down. I didn't want to fall down here. 
safari person. Okay, uh, I know where to go. I just need to help this guy get there. Um, okay, so let's go back up here. Oh. And we just run so incredibly fast now. It's amazing. Okay, we gotta go up this way. I forgot. Oh... See, he, had, he did 1,300 damage, so he's probably got about 1,600 damage or so, um, or 1,600 HP, and so, um, you know, he he's kind of where I was um, before, and uh, now that I have basically like four or five times his HP, um, I'm able to survive uh, pretty much whatever I want at this point. Um, I think we go up this way, and then we gotta go across, or whatever. Is it this one? Yeah. Oop. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, and then we gotta go across, and then he's gotta, um, he's got to go over there, which is going to be over there. Which is going to be uh, this way, I believe. Is that right? He's got to get over there on that side. Yeah, let's go uh, this way. And, do, and getting uh, good at the Spirit Flourish is uh, pretty tough to get those um, perfect pulses out there. But uh, that's what it's going to take. Okay, here we go. This is what we were looking for. And so we are able to uh, really, 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 really do uh, some things that we used to not be able to do, uh, which is very, very nice. And the most important thing here is the extractions. Um, if we can do the extractions uh, and we can do those well, um, the extraction uh, yellow things there, the little sword with the anima on it, um, or Amrita, sorry, then we are able to absolutely uh, wreck everything. Um, and this next boss here, this bird boy, he is uh, pretty tough. Um, and I was not able to uh, beat him pretty much ever um, on, whoops, on my first uh, go around and so this time it's completely uh, different of a story um, Well, and obviously we are uh, on the easy difficulty here but um, you know you get the idea that we can actually um, do things now and we're, a we're able to help others while at the same time not dying completely ridiculously in one hit uh, anymore so the one hit days are are all gone unless I go with like a um, unless I go with a uh, Oh wow, that's actually pretty nice for a, a Namihagi. Uh, so remember, we we always, 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 always were just getting shafted every single time we got to any kind of these uh, depths maps or anything like that, um, and it was always just so miserable. Um, 
so with this uh oh i guess you could have seen it in the menu before um i was able to get to level 13 with this setup and so we got past um, a couple of bosses here uh which is absolutely crazy because most of the time uh you know i'm just getting destroyed at every single pass um but for right now since this area is just to uh you know get through here uh and get to the bosses uh, too bad i can't get the chest this time uh, we're just going to kind of move past everybody here for now but this is so different than just uh spamming out the uh feathers because when we were playing the feathers the entire philosophy there is uh jutsu cancels and everything um and being able to uh, uh just have as many of those as possible on hand uh without ever using them up so now it's not about uh you know consumables or whatever it's all about uh the practice and the skill of being able to actually use uh the weapons that we have in tandem with each other so you can see there that we're over 10,000 hp which is a little bit crazy um it can still go higher um I, I, there are a few things that I would need to collect in order to make it go higher, but um, I think that's going to be something that's going to take a very, 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 very long time to uh, get all of those, um, uh, you know, active um, at each point in time. Let's see, did this guy come up? No. Okay. Uh, okay, a clay bell. So, which one did I miss? So you can see here that we can outheal uh, the burn status now because of ultimate constitution. Okay. Um, let's see. Where? Where was the fourth one? Oh, okay. See, and normally that would have killed us before. What? What? Okay. Whatever. Mr. Skelly Man. But you can see that it's literally like you just stand there and you take the hits and it's and it's like who cares? Who saw me? Oh. Controller disconnected. Um, and so now, there's, there's like, no fear except in the boss arenas and stuff, because, uh, you know, all of this is completely doable. Uh, at least there's, there's light at the end of this tunnel. It feels like, um, that, uh, we can actually maybe, maybe, maybe get there and maybe do it. Okay, so, uh, let's see about, uh, what's going on here. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, split staff action and see about uh, what we got. Oh, so this would be a real nice farm. And the rock wall is an incredible, um, just an absolutely incredible, uh, soul core. I wish I would have found it earlier. Okay. 
watch these numbers here if we get behind him. Look at that. 13,000 damage. <laughs> now we're talking some good damage. Um. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> 15,000 damage. And, and our health is not even uh, feeling this. There's a big one. 14,000. Decent overall. Um, so let's see. Let's get this going. This. Okay. And this guy, I, I hate him. Twenty-five thousand damage. Okay, so we took some damage. Oh, and there we died because we weren't at full health. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, now we are in trouble here because we are um, electrified. Okay, there we go. Man, would he die, please? Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> See? So we got we got closer. This guy's really hard for me anyways, like, I never actually beat him on my own, uh, ever, so this would be the first time if I actually beat him, um, pretty crazy, but, uh, it's absolutely incredible how, uh, how long we're able to stay in this fight, uh, this, this fight's just kind of a, uh, a joke here, but that, uh, second fight there, is uh, pretty incredible. And the the wall, look at that, that's like 10,000 damage right there.
There's another 10,000. It's just, it's just amazing. Ouch. And see, we, we took that entire attack like a champ. And for these attacks uh, against this guy, it doesn't matter if we get hit because I just run back in here and get some uh, health back. Okay. And the wall, the wall is uh, something that's actually very, very, very configurable, I guess you could say. What? Whoa. Because you can use um, whatever kind of uh, um, whatever kind of uh, anima you want. You can do one attack, you can do two attacks, or three attacks, uh, depending on what you are trying to go for. Okay, so we got hit there pretty bad, but we'll just get all our health back. Okay, let's get some health going. I don't know why these guys have to have so much health. Oof. Why did he get... Why does he have health drain? Okay. Now we're getting less gear because we died once. What? Okay, so now normally this would kill me. But we took that first hit and the second hit. And we still died. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so we gotta gotta get in here and get some anima going. Oh, seventy seven hundred health. We just recovered there, but it wasn't fast enough. Um, so you can see that, uh, like, the health recovery is just insane. But we have to be attacking. The minute we stop attacking, uh, it's all over. Now, this is, like, way slow uh, compared to the um, Jutsu attacks. Uh, but if we um, get these in here... Okay.
So you can see that if you use your Jutsu on one single boss, um, you can uh, end him pretty fast. Um, but the problem comes with that second boss um, that, you know, we have to uh, kill him uh, faster and it becomes uh, really hard. Whoops. Okay. Who knows why he has to have an amazing priority on... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wish... Uh, <laughs> this guy was not unfair. <laughs> okay. Let's get all our health back. Okay. Okay. Get me out of here. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, good grief. <laughs> He just did like, let's see, half and then my whole health bar. So he, he probably did about 20,000 HP right there. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Um, just ridiculous. So it's, it's crazy that like we can have such a, a powerful, powerful setup here, but then you can have like one of these idiots here, uh, just ruin everything, um, in a matter of like half a second. Funny thing is, it's like, um, oh, even no matter how strong you are, <laughs> these guys uh, still uh, find a way to be very, very ridiculous um, in a attempting to defeat you. that tracking like you can't run away from him like he's just invincible tr unlimited tracking okay <laughs> Unbelievable tracking. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. 
Hauen. Hauen. But this is uh, the farming um, that I have been able to do, is that um, uh, I farm here in the depths on the first boss. And this is where I've been getting my uh, gear from. And again, it's not fast, but the survival is there. Um, and if I could just kill this guy, uh, then we then we'd be okay. So I guess I guess we just have to take this guy uh, super slow. Okay. Yeah, see, unfair moves. Like, un <laughs> just unfair, <laughs> unfair moves. That's what kills me most of the time, is all the unfair moves. But that's why I've had to, like, <laughs> think about, um, you know, how to do this. Um differently than with the jutsu skills. Um, okay. Yeah, you and me both, sister. I can't believe it either. Where's her grave? There we go. I know. What? <laughs> Wow, 15,000 damage, see? And now if I was at full health, I could have, um, I could have, you know, suppressed that, um, and still survived it. But because, because this game just, it, I, I can, uh, prove with a Suki that the game is actually watching you to make a move, and as soon as you do a button input, it'll attack. Uh, so the game is programmed against you, um, and it, it is watching what you're doing to make sure that you um, are always are uh, at a disadvantage. And it's really frustrating that that's, that that's how it is. But that's, that's what they've programmed. And that's what I'm choosing to go against here. To try and win, and I still can't win. But as you can see, we are getting uh, gear, um, so we are able to actually farm uh, better and better and better gear here. Okay, at least Gozuki's pretty easy. Okay, now on 
on to the unfairness. Um, maybe we'll go for the spear on this. Tracking moves, all this, all this garbage. What, see, what is that? <laughs> he can just throw all kinds of crap everywhere. me no matter where I go and that's the other thing is that I wish he would not go into this dark realm all the freaking time They're not tough, they're just cheap. Ouch. Much appreciated. Not even fair. <laughs> Why does he keep doing the Dark Realm thing? He just... Ugh. He just won't let it go. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> Ugh. He just went through 10,000... 10, or 15,000 damage in one hit. Like, what in the world? What in the world is that hit? Like, unbelievable. Okay, so... I was also told, um, so this is the, uh, this is the farming method I've been doing, it's just the first boss of this area is, uh, whatever, whatever the first boss is, um, and so we're at 572 out of the thousand levels, um, now I was told that, uh, there's a gate, um, that we can go to, and as you can see, like, I still can't beat any of these bosses, um, but I can beat, like, the first one. And if the bosses change to be something easier, uh, then great. But uh, this gate here, whoops, this gate here, if I do expeditions and I do uh, uh, this thing, it says I can go to the depths of the underworld for an open slots. Um, and so, I, I guess... Uh, I guess I can do a map here with anybody 
somehow who is doing something i don't know anything about what an expedition is um but this is supposed to be like co-op here in the underworld um even though it says that you can't do underworld missions uh with co-op so i don't know what these are but um it's uh it's at least a place where like this little icon is here but i don't think anybody actually uh is doing this so there's really no uh reason to like push through because i can get all of the gear that i need i mean look look at all these pieces of gear that we're getting that i am uh able to pick up here along the way and oh wow that's a nice a nice spear um I might actually be able to use that because I do have uh, magic as a perk. Um, it won't be as powerful as this one, but it will still be pretty good. And those are some okay stats. Uh, it's basically weaker than the one I have, but uh, like I'm still able to get really, really, really good, good gear out of uh, everything here. And these hatchets are absolutely ridiculous. So. Um, I need uh, two. I need two more star stats here, and then it will be perfect for me. Um, and this one, if these two become star stats, then it will be perfect for me. So we still have uh, we still have a ways to go before we get some very 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 uh, good things. How do I leave this? I can't leave. Um, You can't leave this thing once you're here. Um, hmm. um, that's odd. Okay, so expeditions are, I don't know what they're all about, but they don't, I mean, they don't seem to do anything other than just, um, you know, sit there and do nothing. So I don't know how people join those because I, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how any of that works, but supposedly that's the way that I can get all the way to the end with co-op. Um, but I don't know how that's going to be the case. Co-op defeat. That was odd. Um, so the, the cool thing is, is that there's always a boss there that, uh, um, at the beginning of that uh, floor 11, I don't really see any point in going higher because all of the gear that I'm going to need, I can farm repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly from that first boss. And then I can come here to, uh, you know, um, this point with uh, co-op and I can help out folks uh, do different things. And so it's, whoops, it's really nice that we're able to do that. And see, like, we are uh, too overpowered for this, and we are not powered enough for the, uh, for the underworld. So the game is very odd, oddly, oddly, oddly balanced. Um, because, like, I don't, I don't quite understand the balance of the game because, um, there's things like this, uh, where you can be just insanely overpowered and destroy everything, um, and then there's other things where you can't, you can't do it at all, so very, very, very strange how everything goes. Um, oh. So, it's, it's still a little bit, um, like, shocking to me. Like, how, like, just how, uh, the game is built and everything. Um, and what, uh, what is, 
like the strategy for each and every single boss because there seems to be like you know 200 bosses in this game or something and every single one of them has a special unique um method to them to make even you know everything viable or whatever and uh for whatever reason oh. and for whatever reason you know like everything takes so much effort uh to figure out everything but uh if i play just for um like these items and this stuff around here then it can be like really 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 enjoyable okay so there's there's nobody up here okay If you create a room, people can search and join in. Oh. I can search for rooms too. Oh, gotcha. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll have to try one of those. Of course, this idiot had to grab me. Okay. Great work, fellas. So, it's nice now that I'm able to actually, like, run around and help guys. Oh. And I don't actually, um... Like, I don't actually die uh, anymore at anything other than the stupid uh, underworld boss. Um, which, I'm fine with that, because the underworld doesn't, like, do anything. Um, you know, it just, like, continues to get harder and harder, it looks like. And there's no, there's no uh, benefit to it. And, and so I wish there was... Oh, whoops. I wish there was some... Uh, benefit to... Uh, actually finishing the depths. dragon dance thing i don't seem to have that on my split staff um i don't know where it comes from but uh oh i i guess i do have it um it's just uh the changing ways thingy is like really good okay Okay. <laughs> so this should be fun. But the cool thing is, is that, um, you know, all of this uh, has, you know, coming, coming around, uh, you know, to full circle that uh, we can... Um, actually survive now and actually play and actually enjoy uh all the content in the game without fear except for the end um of the game because that has uh literally no um no uh reason to play and as I've just recently gotten um, the Ho-Oh uh, from Pokemon skill, 
uh, we are completely shifting from a, uh, completely shifting from a, um, uh, what is that? A feral to a phantom, so this is really, really different than what we had before. And so the timing is all off and everything very different. Ouch. We'll take the gear. Uh, we can always dismantle it later. So this is this is the fun of of the game that I have uh, now found is that um, we are able to uh, join others as as I was joined all those times ago, and uh, all of those painful 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 hours ago and now i can just focus on like either just enjoying the game having fun with the game or farming up very 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 specific things for a very 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 long time um, and it will allow a very very uh long longevity uh in built into the game here that uh we can you know keep pushing forward uh for a long time to come but uh, and there's always more things to get and always more stuff to find and everything and i did find the fast way to put all of your cores in the storehouse is to go like this and come here to this menu and just go you know and they're all in the storehouse so very very good so we got the um the wall here for damage taken to be uh less toughness and uh anima bonus and life drain and then we've got the, the new pepper here where we've got extra life life recovery anima absorption and the key pulse but i don't use that and then the uh, hag here for life absorption life recovery uh dash speed we want to go fast and more anima and the attunement cost was completely irrelevant um so i can get rid of that and put something else here uh which we might uh look into uh, if if there's even a, uh, a soul core that can um, plop in there um, with a inheritable, uh, which I don't I don't know if we have a orange. I don't think there's an orange uh, inheritable. No, there's not. So um, no oranges here. Yeah, but if we had an orange one, then we could get rid of attunement cost and actually put something there that's useful. Um, so, uh, and then the, uh, we did these, and so if I was going to farm up, uh, just the, Welcome. you know, just all the stuff, uh, whoops, um, all the stuff for, uh, the items that I have, uh, it can be pretty, uh, tedious and monotonous, um, but as you can see, we're, we're slowly, slowly getting, um, more and more things, for each of the um, graces that we are starting to build towards. And the cool thing is that this build is, you know, very, very, very specific to the spear, uh, specifically the master of spears here, uh, right? But the cool thing is, is that you can put any secondary weapon here that you want, like the fists or the hatchets or anything else that you want. And uh, I'm starting to build my secondary weapon here. And uh, like the hatchets are just a lot of fun. And for the stat distribution I have, it's the highest damage value uh, weapon that I can possibly have because it's dex, magic, and courage. 
um, it's and constitution is the other one that I have that's high and so uh, we can we can do some pretty fun things with the hatchets and the um, fists are the lowest because of uh, heart and strength so those are pretty low but overall like dex and courage uh, dex magic and courage uh, dex constitution and courage very high uh, so these also the tonfas go very very high which is why i need to uh, use um, a tonfa set um, and dex strength and skill so very low um, dex strength and heart very low uh, for my stat distribution as well so um, it's kind of cool that we're able to kind of um, uh, move uh, in and out of the different weapons as we need the the build is mainly 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 specifically focused on the spear with the split staff as a secondary uh, between the two of those we should have anything and everything that we will want to have uh, as we go along here and there's no um, repercussions otherwise and so uh, like because we're here now, uh, we can go for the um, the uh, swords and uh, get those leveled up a little bit. Um, okay, and so we can just run over here and go. So this is uh, very, very cool that you're able to um, literally, like, take no damage here along the way. Oop. I wish I was hitting the... <laughs> okay. Okay. He's dropping rocks on my face. I mean, we literally just took all all those rocks and then some. Okay. There we go. Okay, I don't know what the other guy was doing, but whatever. here on the swords um, we do take uh, less damage um, because of the fact that we are um, having you know having the two uh, having the uh, the dual swords here so we're able to take less damage all the time which is awesome because of the fact that we are doing um, you know uh, any kind of diet attack or any kind of uh, dual sword attack. What in the world? He died? Oh man. I don't know what he was doing over there, but okay. So it's cool. It's pretty cool that you can have pretty much any other secondary uh, weapon here on the side, um, and you can, you know, make it whatever you want, and uh, you can, uh, you know, use your spear. And the spear is, uh, with triple threat, it definitely is taking uh, some, um, you know, ability to try and get good with that, uh, because it is very, 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 very practice intensive. Um, and, uh, I'm not sure, uh, what's going on, uh, here with this guy, but hopefully we can do him well this time, and we'll try, um, we'll try and go with him this time. Did he just die? Is 
see this is what I used to go through um, I used to go through uh, all of these kinds of things where uh, I would run in I would get hit and I'd be dead <laughs> and so I can totally relate to this guy's pain uh, completely fully 100% unadulterated understanding of his pain at no problem and uh, so um, we'll, we'll see if we can uh, get him get him to go through here and uh, see see what we can see what we can see here okay here we go let's let's just stay with him so we he's going to the left and we're getting uh, skill points so even better he died again hmm I don't know how he's dying I mean I do know how he's dying he probably has 5,000 HP or so um, at least we're we're getting all kinds of uh, goodies here so so for me this is nice because I'm not actually losing anything I'm only gaining through this entire process here of helping this guy um, so that's very very nice and if and because we're using the dual sword we're even getting more armor as we uh, go along here which is really really awesome um, and uh, let's see we got a dual sword so we need to we need to get all of the uh, skills here okay hopefully this guy doesn't die um... So there we took 90 damage. I wish his hands would stay still. you stay still hmm. his hands just just won't stay still I guess we'll uh, switch to the split staff and see if we can um, do something there but as you can see on the dual swords there are still uh, skills to learn here so that's why you know it might be a good thing but I mean this is just amazing to have that this dyad so this dyad and the split staff dyad are two of the best ones I've found in the game so far um, and uh, they do some pretty amazing things when they're paired together um, but uh, if I could get a master of spears on uh, well I what I can do is I can switch my two weapons for the Omayatsi and then I can switch one of my accessories to a spear and and so uh, then um, I can still uh, switch this to literally anything I, I need or want uh, which is great okay we're going this way Okay, good. Yeah, go get him. Animal. <laughs> Aminal. <laughs> Funny name. Okay, and then we... Oh. We get right back into it here. Oh 
Okay. Why is this guy hanging out in the corner? 152,000? Let us go. Excellent. Let's get this soul core. That is good. Oh, I had a tea set. Okay. Fun. See, this is what the game is supposed to be. This again, the game is supposed to be fun and enjoyable, not unfair and ridiculous. Which is nice that it does have the unfair and ridiculous, because I don't have to play it if I don't want to, um, and I can still enjoy, uh, you know, literally ninety-eight percent of what the game has to offer, which is great. And that ninety-eight percent of what the game has to offer is just incredible. And so, uh, Kayo, if I have to set up a room for people to go and look at, I don't know how many people are actually looking for that, as opposed to the random encounters um, that are here. So, uh, I don't know what that's like. Um, I don't know if there's a big community for that or not. But, um, you know, it's it's definitely a thing that's that's there. So, 6281 is pretty good. And if we, uh, let's see, let's run our tonfas to get these uh, loaded up here, if we can. Yeah. And I do, uh, this is the only tonfa that I have that is uh, with the, with the omayatsi. Um, with the uh, omayatsi uh, uh, grace on it. So it's the only one that I have to be able to do anything. Okay. Good. Ouch. Ouch. Great. PlayStation is still active. You don't know how it is on PC? Yeah. I don't know either. It doesn't seem like there's a big crowd here for it. Enjoy the tonfas a lot too. Um, oh no. I hate this guy. He's the worst. Let's go over here. Is this thing here? Nope.
try and search to see if anyone else has any open. Okay, after we get done with this guy, we will go take a look. Uh, can we get the hot spring? We sure can. Jerry Corio. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get the damage. Let's get the purification. Let's get this. Let's get that. Okay. No bad guy here. So the cool thing is about this is that you're not really locked into any one thing. I mean, there is a main, right? That you are... Um, Um, and so that's really, really fun for me, is that uh, you, you're not really uh, locked into any one specific thing. Um, so, so you're completely able to, um, you know, do uh, what you want, what you like, and play around with everything else in between um, to experiment over and over and over and you're not you're not locked into um, you're not locked into the um, uh, what, what was that the, the jutsu stuff like we had before uh, which is really really nice and so you can play uh, all the different weapons and you can actually practice and learn hey red how are you, my dude? I am experimenting in some serious ways here. Okay, so... And I just love uh, the Tonfa gun. <laughs> Uh, I think it's one of the coolest moves in the entire game. I just love it so much. Ouch. And you can see there, I didn't, uh, I didn't even, uh, <laughs> matter what she was doing, or he, or whatever it is, because I'm able to just stand right through all of these things, and as we go in here, there's no fear, just no fear, And so, see, <laughs> I know this is like easy mode and everything, but we're able to just absolutely wreck um, because everything is so under leveled uh, and we are so over leveled. Um, the, um, the depths place, that's just, that is just absolutely insanity. And so, uh, it would be nice if we could actually uh, finish that at some point. But, there, but again, like I said, there's no there's no benefit to actually finishing it because I can get everything I need um, there and then at you know at literally no cost. Um, and so it's really 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 nice. And the the one thing I do. Uh, need is a better tonfa set. Um, I don't have a a good feel. Red, maybe you can help me with that. Is find a good um, a good a good tonfa set that uh, is 
like really really beneficial and valuable uh, and um, one one that can get purified and one that can get corruption um, you know at at random I'm I'm fine with the at random because that's what most things are Oh man, Onfa Gun is probably one of my favorite moves in the game. Oh jeez, I hate this guy. Good, I hate that guy. He's so annoying. Whoa, I don't know what I did there, but that was cool. Oh. I wanna... there we go. Oh, I'm on the ground. So see, if if we're going up against anything that's not Otakamaru in the depths, I mean, we're able to just literally run around and do whatever we want. Uh, there is no no fear of anything. It's it's awesome. Oh man, oh, got a new voice line there, I guess. And uh, that's that's the cool thing, is that, you know, before we were not able to really experiment with anything because I was always getting killed in one hit, uh, constantly, 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 constantly killed in one hit, and now um, we're, we're able to like just do whatever we want and run around and just enjoy everything um, with with zero zero inhibitions, you know. Whereas before it was like, oh no, I can't fight that enemy. I can't fight that enemy. I, oh, because I was like completely, completely locked into one and only one kind of play style and everything. Now it's all about the weapons, which, you know, I probably should have been focusing on this from the very beginning. But, um, you know, whatever. Fruit Loops, what a cool name. Recommended level one. So at level 1, we have 3,500 HP. Okay. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And look how fast we run. That's the, f that's the fun part. I love, the, I love the fact that we can run fast now. Like, we're super, super speedy. Maybe we shouldn't be killing everything. And this guy? You remember the first time I played this game? And that guy killed me for hours. No, don't don't research for a Tonfa build. Just research for a Tonfa. Which which Tonfa is a good one? All right, Kayo, have a great night.
We got the village cemetery key. Why am I... Why is that guy not coming over here? Like, uh, what, what is better, purity or corruption, in your opinion? Do you, do you think, uh, purity is better or corruption is better? Because that might help, uh, you know, push me towards, um, a certain area. Let's see if I can push this guy off the edge. No? Okay. Well, it's been real, dude. Later. If he's not gonna show up, then okay. Which is fine. I was there. Uh, maybe he's going to the bathroom. Maybe he's doing other things. Who knows? Maybe he's researching, even as we speak. You know, right now. Um, and so that's, that's always a possibility, you know, and, uh, with, with the fists, um, I built them in such a way, I built the fist in such a way that, uh, let me, let me show you here. Um, these are for the fists of reckoning. Um, and that's how, uh, where? Are these guys? Oh, he died. Okay then. Um, but I built them for the fists of reckoning thing on the on the high attack stance uh, to do that damage over and over and over and over and over. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. Good night, Kyle. We'll see you when we see you. I'll probably do a couple more streams this week. Um, Maybe not Neo 2, but uh, we'll be doing a couple other things. Corruption's good. Is that the best? Whoa. Where did this guy go? He just literally, like, disappeared all of a sudden. And that's so much fun uh, to just beat these guys into a pulp. Oops. Sorry, friend. Just jumped in the water. Oh well. So if corruption is pretty good, um, then uh, I guess... Um, Maybe I should go for a Corruption Axe then, uh, as well. I do like these these axes. These are my, my favorite ones. The Zenki and Gogi, they, they are uh, pretty nice. Welcome. Um, but if we're forging a Tonfa, let's look at what we have. Low attack, high attack, mid-guard, uh, strong attack... Guard, active skill, melee, strong attack, active skill, consumption. Oh, that's really nice. Melee attack, high consumption, that's really nice as well. Melee, uh, active skill damage, fire, water. Maybe water would be good. Because that would then allow me to do more. 20% more damage if they get watered. Lightning. And then the gun. Uh, pagodas. Lightning and fire. Hmm. Uh, so... Well, if I do water, then I can't get a corruption one. So it would have to be something like this one or this one. Maybe the martial artist. Uh, let's see what we have in the in the bank here. Um, what kind of uh, tonfas? If we have any good ones, 
transform strength. If well, if we have any corruption ones or anything at all, even. Okay, here's an obliterating tantra. Active skill damage. That's pretty nice. Um. Fire. Yeah, these were my old ones. That if I had, um, if I had a grace inheritance, or uh, for the the grace that I'm trying for now, then it would be really nice. Uh, see, and I don't I don't have any anything like that. So um, there's there's still a whole lot more to come. Um, in that regard of like finding perfect things to actually use and go for along the way um, but as it as it stands right now uh, I think my I think my favorite weapon um, is slowly becoming the spear just because of how uh, technical it is um, and uh, it's it's something I really didn't see. Uh, coming? Is he dead? No. Okay, if we're gonna be here... Uh, the spear... Um, okay, that's just on decks. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, whoops. And this is what I like as well, that I can just sit here. And I can win. And so this is like, you know, all of the... Uh, <laughs> Pain of the past coming to fruition that uh, I can now just relax kind of it's like really that's the end game is getting to the end game of this game and then keep playing but play it in a relaxed sort of way where everything's enjoyable instead of like super nervous and painful as what we were uh, playing for you know all those hours ago when everything was just massive, massive amounts of pain, um, and we weren't, we were unable to actually do anything. We couldn't help anyone. Uh, nobody could really help us because we were always dying, 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 dying constantly. And it's just so relaxing and enjoyable to be able to play it, uh, just in a in a way now that. We actually can experiment with the weapons, we can learn things, we can find new things, and we can understand kind of what's going on uh, wherever wherever we are. Uh, where is this guy? Down here, I guess? Hmm. Do we go all the way down? I guess so. Okay, must be over here in the house. I think he got both of them. Did he get both of them? Oh no. We're good. Okay, I thought he killed both of these guys in one in one hit. Nice. Hmm. 
Ouch. Okay, let's get uh, some things going here. So we just don't get obliterated in one shot accidentally somewhere. These guys are pretty antsy. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's out over here. Nice. See, this is so different than where we were, you know, a little bit ago. Now, now we can actually just enjoy everything. It's so different than where we were. I mean, it's just unbelievably different. I feel like I've earned it though, after all the pain of of where we came from. Because everything was killing me for the longest time and it was just so ridiculous. How did he just disappear? <laughs> hey, Lucerne. How are you? Oh, there's a boy here. I never noticed that before. So, Lucerne, you, you missed pretty much um, all the beginning part where I was dying at Otakamaru and explaining the build and everything. Um, so if you have, if you have a, you know, 20 minutes or something, uh, later on, uh, I would recommend going back and seeing, uh, everything that you had been discussing with me and for me, um, back then and, uh, uh, see, you know, what, uh, no suitable matches. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Um, and see what, uh, what that, um, you know, looks like for you, uh, and how, and how everything operates. I still can't beat the, the depths. Um, I don't think I'll ever be able to beat the depths. It's just something that's so, just something completely ridiculous. Um, uh, it's so over the top that, like, it's not worth my brain thinking about. Ouch. 
much. Of course. He had to poop on my face. And kill me. I hate that little midget. It's the worst enemy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's try that again. And see if we can get our buffs going before we actually run in there and fight a double, double, triple enemy at one time. Yeah. It'll, it'll surprise you, the confidence boost that it, that it gives, um, as compared to, uh, where we were, um, you know, a little bit ago. Okay, yeah, you go that way. Oh, he killed everything over here? Good job. Um, but the important thing, Lucerin, is to watch, uh, watch my health during, during the gameplay and everything, um, because it's, uh, it's a little bit crazy if everything is operating, um, correctly, and, uh, let me put on the split staff for you so you can see how that's going to operate as well. But the spear is the main point of the build. Unintended? <laughs> and the nice thing is, Lucerin, that there's literally like zero fear uh, built into uh, anything now um, because uh, we are completely able. Look at that, we got shot in the face. We got shot in the face and I just laughed it off. And I don't even have the uh, protection uh, defense that, uh, you know. Look at that, I took that hit. Um, my split staff here to get some health back, but now that he killed me once, um, we can, uh, you know, heal up here a little bit. But you can see, Lucerin, that we've got 10,255 HP, so we are able to, to survive, like, at least a couple hits, um, and uh, we're able to uh, we're able to, um, you know, recover tons and tons and tons and tons of health. Um, watch, watch this, uh, for the health recovery. And this is no, no elixirs or anything. Good grief. Okay. 
Yeah, fight this guy. So, very tanky for sure. Yeah, it's it's uh, absolutely crazy that I can actually, um, like, I can mostly survive uh, all those hits and stuff. Um, and uh, we're able to, um, you know, kind of stay in the fight quite a long time. And uh, we don't have an insane amount of damage. Um, there's definitely damage there, uh, for sure, that uh, we're able to kind of put out uh, as we go along. So it's pretty nice in that way. And if I use the cats uh, later on, uh, we're able to, uh, you know, enjoy those guys. Um, I just need to not uh, get, get uh, corrupted all the time here. I wish I could get behind him. Okay. Okay. My goodness. Just like constantly taking double damage here. Ouch. Ouch. Whoa, he just teleported. Yay! My reputation has increased. Excellent. And no soul core. So yeah, I really enjoy the split staff with this. Um, it definitely is... Uh, did I equip new pebbles? Uh, for the life? Yeah. Um, so I'll show you here in a second. Um, we have the hag. Uh, I went over all this earlier, so make sure you check that out. Um, we have the hag for life absorption. We have uh, the pepper for life and life absorption. And we have the wall for life recovery, uh, damage taken, and anima recharge on damage taken because we're literally getting hit all the time. And then uh, here's... Uh, our scroll, uh, extra life, 356 extra life. I wish I could get more than that. Uh, and then the counter yokai, yokai tactics. Uh, and then the, the path of the ravenous here is very important. Um, then here we have anima charge, uh, kai recovery, life absorption, uh, life absorption. Um, el elixirs don't matter. I just want the medicine case here for... Um, the eventuality that I get another medicine case that I can use uh, are uh, shoes. We have life and running speed and all the damage and everything. Uh, here we have running speed, life, uh, very important, damage taken, um, the gauntlets, uh, kai damage, melee kai consumption, 
uh, triple threat, and then the spear. Uh, the Gorass, we have life recovery, um, split staff, damage taken, life again, and running speed. Uh, then the hat, uh, we got the Kyrie Kai bonus, so we get extra um, stamina here, and then all this, and then the melee charge attack, increased attack on a winded enemy, and then running speed. Um, then our bow is kind of just equipment drop or item drop rate because uh, that's usually helpful and then lots of damage across the board here and then a cannon just for whatever and then the spear uh, saturation accumulation so we can get more 20% uh, more damage if they get saturated which is why we have the water um, thing because we're doing constant physical damage now and then the split staff and if the split staff gets these two here life drain and attack bonus to be starred uh, this is going to go to like 6,600 or something like that, 6,700, 6,650, somewhere around there. And so uh, then also down here, uh, whoops, I use the extraction um, and then the barrier as well. Uh, so those two, and then carnage and the purification, and then we have the uh, earth folding and quick stroll, quick change. So we have the, the, the feathers again. But those are only to apply. They're, I mean, to do damage, obviously. But at this, but the main thing is to um, the the main thing is to uh, uh, apply the status effects. So all all good there. Okay, and let's see if there's anybody else in the depths or in, in the underworld, whatever. And so now, as you can see, like that first time, yeah, we kind of didn't have our buffs together and everything, but now we're able, if we have sufficient time to like, um, get ourselves buffed up completely, we're able, we're able to actually, um, you know, do whatever we need, wherever we need, and we can actually be a help uh, to folks instead of a hindrance as we used to be before so it's very very nice completely different um as compared to where we used to be and so it's uh, for example um we can take on uh, this guy now not this guy There we go, and that uh, triple threat is incredible, and uh, we don't even have the um, that one uh, that one ability or whatever. So so you see there it was like. 15,000 damage or something. Whoops. Not a block. And watch this. <laughs> I didn't even lose that much health. See? And I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, getting killed 
and I was able to go toe to toe with uh, the big bird brain there. How awesome is that? You feel like Doji Soul Core would free you from using the extraction? That's fine. I'm fine with the extraction. Look at that, 11,000 damage. Twenty four thousand damage. Did you see that twenty four thousand there, Lucerin? That was ridiculous. That's that's what this build can do when when it's actually connecting, and um, so the Doji Core. Um, what it doesn't say that I get. Uh, oh, we got a a new scroll. Let's check out uh, melee damage in the dark realm and attack. It doesn't. Uh, oh. Magic and Courage. Material drop rate. Magic. Uh, extraction is 1.5 per scroll, and you have four. Yeah, but I don't... I don't have anything for the capacity. Um, let, let me... Let me look here. Um... Let's look for Doji Man. Where is Doji Man? Uh, there we go. Okay, so it says it doesn't say that you generate Amrita, right? It just says increase defense. Um, oh, gain the extraction and Pleiades status enhancements. That's where you're talking about it, right? Is that what you mean? Hmm. So if I do that, though... Um... Well, if I do Doji Man, then let's see. I don't have any really good ones here. I guess this one's about as good as it's going to get. But the wall, the wall is so customizable, though. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I'll I'll take that one. Um, I don't know if it'll. I mean. Hmm. I guess I could try and switch, use the Doji Man, um, and then switch back. It's a lot of switching though. Hmm. I'll have to see here. 
So if I if I get rid of the extractions though, but I gotta have anima to actually do uh, something. Plus they last they last forever, and it's kind of it's kind of like a fire forget kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a hot spring. How nice. See? I'm too close. I can't hit this guy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Man, I just love how fast I can run though. Um That's that's the the super good part for me is that I can just run around wherever I need to go. And I can go fast, fast, fast. Okay, so now... That... Wait. Okay. Whoops. Oops. Okay. Well, I... S okay, so I saw that... I wonder how long they... I wonder how long it lasts, though. It probably lasts just as long. So, okay. So if I do that... Um, and then I go here to get rid of extractions. Um, hmm. Probably these are going to be, like, really helpful. And then... Let's see. Barriers. Okay, we can go for another slother. Okay, so more anima recharge and more sloth. Yeah. Extraction was two yikes. What do you mean? <laughs> Two yikes? Okay, hopefully we get the same guy again. Because that was pretty... Oh, no, different. Definitely not. He was in the fire house. And this is the eyeball house. Okay, let's see where, where we go. Oh, two, okay, two capacity, yeah, oh, okay, um, there we go. Okay, so, let's see, I have to do that. I don't even know what I'm in now. Um, okay. Okay, so that did it. And then this... Okay, I need to get more fluid at that. But that's the idea. It doesn't last very long. Yeah, that does not last 
very long at all. Um, Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Do I? Oh boy! Eyeball house time. Let me introduce you to my new bride. Triple threat requires you to not be staggered through it. That's right. But typically you move through the enemy on the second attack, so you're behind them. That's what I found most of the time. Um, did that work? Okay. Whoops. See? I just... It, it it's like whoops Oh I really hate this boss Lucerne, I forget. Um, what am I focused on here? fight this boss. <laughs> so much more to think about um Oof. that's intense to think about uh the entire sequence of switching soul core thingies holy cow Ooh, they float they're gold You put the pointy slender thing in the hole. Is this a metaphor? Hmm. What's up, Momo? I am the dragon warrior. This is the golden dragon blade, not the dark dragon blade. The dark dragon blade was way cooler in Ninja Gaiden. Okay, got some things. I do not enjoy that boss at all. It's hardest when you're not used to it. <laughs> That's exactly right. That is exactly right. Um, let's see. There... Um, is there a place to farm Doji Man? Yes. That's Afterglow, is that right? 
um, this Calamity's Pulse thing. So I can beat the... Hmm, I can beat the Snake. And then I fight Doji Man. So if I want a good one, I guess I can work on it here. Now, let me look at my bonuses. Um, I don't even know how to... Uh, let's see, do I have Calm Breath on here? Calming Breath, okay. And then if I switch... I don't have Calming Breath anymore. Okay, so they literally are active um, only when they're active. It's the other one, that half one. So here you go. Um, Glucerin 194 on life recovery on abrasive absorption. Get technically Earthfold after Doji main or get a scroll that has him as the first fight. Oh, but that is some great advice. 84 million, we'll keep it. Uh, let me look through the squirrel wolves. I don't know if I have him as a first timer. Okay, here we go. Dookie. Uh, is there a filter? Okay. Um, special effect. Hmm. There's nothing with like enemy fought or something, right? No. Okay. That's too bad. Um, okay, so here's one, but he's purple. So that's really awful. Okay, here's one. A very appreciable amount. <laughs> 84 million. Uh... Okay, let's see if let's see if he's the first one here. Yeah, filter for useful usefulness? No, that doesn't exist. But they got all the filters of everything else. Okay, let's see if uh if Doji Main is first, then that's gonna be very, very good. Uh let's go for water here on triple threat. Oh, he is first, okay. Okay, hang on. I really don't like this guy's fight. What? How did he kill me? Okay, hang on. I actually don't know how to fight him, because I've never really fought him. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm getting messed up with like these switching things. Okay, here, have that. What? thing is not uh, recovering not recovering the health there's some health there we go and no soul core huh hmm what is our soul core rate wait a minute I think I can get more soul core rate from here. Yeah, 
There we go. Okay. That should help a little bit. Okay, that was definitely... Uh, definitely a little more wild than it should have been. Why does that not affect him? Um... have a period of invulnerability when they spawn. <sighs> okay. That's awesome. See, the game is exceptionally unfair. Like, it's so tilted <laughs> against you. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I just applied all this stuff, and then he goes into the Dark Realm for some reason. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I had to reapply the extraction. There we go. Interesting. Okay. That is, um... Yeah, but Vayne, they are vulnerable and they are active. They're not invulnerable where you can't touch them. Like, you can already apply, like, status effects and things. Um, like, immediately. This is like, wait until I'm good and ready to <laughs> do something. Uh... Oops. There we go. See, why does that not count as a defensive measure there? Oh well. Yay, another soul core. Okay. And then this monstrosity. Okay. Here we go. Here we get two soul cores. Um, let's see what they are. Uh, poison and this, I mean, anima, but these, but this doesn't actually like apply because the core is not active most of the time. So I guess it just doesn't matter. Is that right? Like it, it, do, it doesn't matter because of the fact that that 
war is not active all the time. It's just literally there to um, do this. He kills me before um, everything is active. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Bonuses don't apply because of switching, but some can. Like if you get Amrita while Doji is still out, you get the defensive buff. Oh, okay, interesting. That it, that is interesting. So I, so I guess, I guess the one that I have is good enough um, because it's just going to be one that. Um, it's just gonna be one to apply for the for this. This is literally what you're doing it for is for Pleiades and extraction, and that's all you're doing it for because um, the rest of the time you're you're doing health recovery and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, so so that's that's really what that is. Um, okay. Seems good. Maybe I should have like one extraction scroll for, um, hmm. Maybe I should have one extraction. So I do the doji man for like, uh, adventuring through the level and different things. And then I do like one extraction. Um, and that's three. Mm. Maybe I do one less barrier. Uh, one, one extraction. And the extraction will just be like something we apply uh, from the menu like because it's just right there right um and then that way we have it like during the entire boss fight uh pretty much and then for the adventuring through the area we'll use doji man uh that looks like it will be more agreeable Mm, I'll have to I have to play with that because um, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see about like longevity about which which it will last longer and do uh, things when I need it to do the things you know um, okay so his club gives you Amrita all the time. So, so this and the this and his core are supposed to uh, play together, I guess. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. 
So I guess if I keep one of these, this would be the one to keep, and then I'll farm up a grace later on for it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's super good. Um, like all the passives and bonuses and everything, like they're they're very 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 good. Um, I am impressed with with how how good everything actually is in that regard. Um, let's see if anybody else is in the depths here. But like the bosses in the in the depths, like they're just a little bit just like it's not a challenge that that their move set is challenging or something. The, what the challenge is is that they do insane amounts of ridiculous damage and then um like it's kind of like a one shot type of thing that happens and then um you have to try and um oh that was quick you have to try and kill them as fast as possible but because they have like i want to say that they have like millions of hp uh it seems like and uh since they have like millions of hp and you do like a couple thousand damage on an attack it's like three or four orders of magnitude compared to your damage and then they do two orders of magnitude above and beyond your health level um and that and that's like just so imbalanced and i uh, uh was playing against suki one time and i turned off or i uh what i did was i let uh i let her uh follow me with her eyes and uh she just wandered around in a circle and i was blocking the whole time and because I was blocking, uh, she, oh, because I was blocking, she wasn't able, or she, uh, oh my goodness. Hang on, I can't tell what's going on here. Lucerne, hang on. Okay, good. Okay, good grief. That was crazy. Okay, so what was I saying about um, um, the bosses? Oh, yeah. Um, it, like, you go in there and you think that, well, I'm going to fight this boss and I'm going to do this thing. And then you get in there and it's like, well, I've been playing and playing and playing for hours and 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 hours. And then you get to a point where it's like, nope, you can't, you can't do anything, uh, because, um, like you didn't build the one very specific thing that does the thing that, you know, whatever. And it's like, well, how much more do you need to build, uh, just to be able to play like some kind of end game content that they've loaded up there. And it's, it's, it's a little bit over the top. For no reason. I mean, there's there's literally no benefit. Oh, he died again. There's there's no benefit to killing anything in the depths, um, except the graces, which is what I do on the one boss that I just farm over and over and over and over again. Um, and there's no uh, there's no reason to keep going and that's the funny part about it it's like if it's gonna be that hard then give me like this insane weapon 
that I get at the end of it that's actually worth trying to get to the end to all 30 floors because there's I I mean I don't know but it doesn't look like there's anything uh, beyond maybe you know Lucerne but I can't find a good reason why um, you know there would be any reason to go beyond uh, where I'm at now But either way, it's uh, it's nice that um, there we go. It's nice that I'm able to actually like play the regular missions now with with literally no no problem, like no problem at all. So that's how I apply that to just keep it up at all times. Okay, that is a good tip. Um, let's see. Okay, so here. Uh, apply it. That's doable. That is doable. I can, uh... It definitely takes me, uh, some time to think about it. Oops. Oh, okay. I'm not thinking... Oh. Depths are like super hit bosses of other games. Sometimes the goal is just to defeat it. But, but I mean, if you get all the benefits of not defeating it, why, why do you? You can beat the game with skill, gear, or something in between. Well, I can't beat the game with either, so. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this is my game. I'm the host. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's go. Let's go fast. I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure somebody... You know... Does really, really, really enjoy that. But... But since my love of the game comes from the builds and the uh, experimenting with literally anything and everything to put them all together. Uh, the depths don't hold any uh, value for me, unfortunately. Oh, where'd he go? keep pushing the wrong button. I guess, I guess, uh, value and worth is completely different to literally anyone and everyone. Alright. And our scamper is almost gone. 
I guess everybody's buffing up here, so I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Those umbrellas are absolutely ridiculous. Did he drop anything? No, a little furball. A little stingy furball. this guy there we go it's a place to test the limits well I think uh, level 11 is the limits of my stuff yeah th th they're a priority target and they're like the weakest enemy in the game it's like as soon as you pair them with like literally anything else it's like why <laughs> why it's so annoying but the nice thing is looser and I'm I'm com I'm not completely dependent anymore on the um, on the feathers like I can actually do uh, fairly okay without the feathers which is nice um, okay. You guys got this in good control. Uh, let's see this. 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 Okay. Hmm. Man, I can't. My computer's like slowing down because there's so much crap on the screen here. Okay, there's there's too much stuff happening. cats and I can't use them wow okay these guys just literally like oh no <laughs> you guys pushed me off the edge what Those guys just shove me off. Oh well. And eventually, Lucer, and I'll get the cats to um, to come back uh, into service here. Right now, they're just not uh, viable with the armor set. Ugh. Now I f fell off uh, myself. Ugh. Why can't I just get the stupid key? Good grief. This is really frustrating. <laughs> this is more frustrating than the game, than the gameplay. Okay. Let's not fall off. Oh, that was close. Almost fell off again. Good grief. Ugh. Okay, so now I can go for the extraction. There we go.
<laughs> yeah, but I I like I like this mission because I do get I do get three kitties for free, um, and they are extra extra spicy. I wasted all of them though, pretty much just running around in circles for, you know, getting all the stuff, <laughs> getting the key. Ugh. Okay, we got some scrolls. Uh, anything good here? Hmm. Anima charge. That's pretty nice. Saturated. And right a bonus. Hmm. Jane Amrita. Okay. So that could also be helpful. Uh. Oh, that's what that means. That if an enemy is corrupted or saturated or whatever, then they generate Amrita already. Oh, well, let's check that out then, because I think we might be able to um, change like this one, maybe. Yeah, I didn't realize that that's what that meant. Um, Okay, like this. Anima bone uh on enemy saturated. Oop. There we go. I'm rid of bonus. Uh inflict gain I'm rid of when you inflict this status fight. Oh, I don't okay, we'll have to see what that's like. But you have used the new Pepo buff. Yes. Uh, right here. He's, he's on, he's on the stuff. Is this the, the core, you mean? I don't know what buff comes from him, but, uh, except for these two, life and emerald absorption. And I have him and the hag together to make, uh, good, good recovery. I don't enjoy his attack, but ha I like the um, wall attack because it's configurable. Like, you can do one attack or two attacks or three attacks. You don't have to do one single attack. You can do, uh, you know, but depending on your anima and what's happening at the moment, you don't have to do all three attacks, which is nice. And this is good to cover ground and just do whatever. And then this is good just to have as a passive thing. Um, doesn't really do much for me. So. If you use him. Wait. Where's the training ground? Is this a... It's a 50% buff. But makes you use more Kai for attacks. Mm. Oh, is that what that is? Um, how do I? Whoa. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was an actual buff. That actually lost, lasts for quite a while, it looks like. Okay. What in the world? 1696. Oh, what? Whoa, 3,000 now? Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, because he was just, I don't know what he was doing there. 
Okay, so fight this guy. Ouch. 1944 now, somehow. Recovery is not as good. Oh, I, I saturated him. That's right. Why is it not the same damage every time? see what that I want to see what that third attack does to those guys or at least anybody um, is is there another guy over here oh <laughs> whoops okay 1790. Okay, so that's like a thousand. Wow, 12,000 damage. Damage bonus is based on health, if you had to guess. Um, where do, we, where do you read about those? It is... Um... I know there's a place where all of those show up and you can read about all of them. Hmm. There's a matzo spear. That's nice. Um, where, where do I read about those? I think it might be back at like home base or something. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Effect icon. Um, it's this one, Berserk. Greatly increases attack power. Okay. So that's the one that we get, Berserk. Interesting. Okay. Blue Moon. Attack increased. Interesting. Wonder when you get that one. When fighting unarmed? Wow, there's so many. Th th this is ridiculous. There's so many things. Enemy attacks will not stagger you. Unflinching. I wish I would tell you where you get these from. Like, like, application places or something. Like, you've got all this box here, and you have six words. <laughs> that's crazy. So, okay. Well, that's a little bit about what the build is and what we're, what we're using. Um, we're going to call it here for today. And uh, we'll see you guys this coming week. But um, it's turning into a lot of fun here as we can start to uh, understand you know what is going on and how to actually use uh, the skills that we have and everything and it's uh, it's turning into something that's really beneficial actually that it that actually makes the game enjoyable to uh, to, to run and uh, and enjoy <laughs> welcome to neo 2 yeah dude I still feel like I just picked up the game yesterday like this game should have been advertised as like a 10 year game that don't don't buy it unless you're invested for the long haul or you just want to attempt, uh, you know, something for for a little while just to have fun. So anyways, uh, I'm going to call it there and uh, 
thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys back here again uh thanks for all of your help here lucerin it's definitely uh very 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 helpful uh to try and understand to, just to make heads or tails out of what the heck is actually happening so um you have a good week and we'll we'll see you back here sometime thanks <laughs>